I'm Jeff Hoffman, The Big Game Hunter. It's Saturday. I'm in a good mood. And uh, I'm just finishing the last of my podcast work for the week. And I thought I would do a quick video before I cut out uh, and just very simply point it out. One of those stupid hiring mistakes that firms make so often. It really is stupid. Now, I'm recording this in 2019. The economy is strong. There are labor shortages galore. More people are working in this country than in the history of the country. Minority unemployment, record lows. White unemployment, very low. And you're taking a long time to interview people. Like, they're going to grow on trees. There's 3.7% unemployment currently. That's called full employment in U.S. terms. And where do you think you're going to find this person that you're holding out for? Have you considered training someone that the longer this job is open, the less work that's getting done because your people are interviewing galore. Now, I'm not telling you to hire incompetence, but you're holding out for perfection. And you know, there's no perfect employee. And the statistics bear it out. You see, the statistics show that when a hiring manager starts to think back on his hire, when they start to think back on her hire, they have buyer's remorse within 18 months of the hire. There's something wrong. Now, you can try and improve your process. You can try and improve your interviewing. And frankly, I encourage firms to do that. Most of your hiring managers, most of you, don't do a good job of interviewing. And thus, you make bad selections. But fundamentally, speed is what it's at right now. You see someone who's vaguely appropriate, you get him back in quickly, you get him in front of the team quickly, you get him in front of your boss quickly, so that in this way you don't lose someone that you're interested in. It's kind of like, you know, if, if you remember the old days, rushing a fraternity. You know, someone who winds up being interesting to, to the fraternity, they moved on fast. Someone who they weren't interested in, they took their time. If you want to send a message of interest to people that you're interested in, don't dawdle. Move faster. Stop taking as long as a pregnancy. And if you think I'm joking, I'll tell you from my experience when I worked in search, that happened with regularity. It would take nine months. And sometimes the firm was indignant when the person said, you know, I'm not going to go through this anymore. And that was like, like the job was open for like nine, ten months. They keep interviewing and bringing people back, and it was ridiculous. Ridiculous. And it happens way too often. Stop doing this kind of nonsense. Figure out what your fear is in pulling the trigger. It's not about them, it's about you. I'm Jeff Alpin. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And whenever you watch this, I hope you take my advice. Visit my website, TheBigGameHunter.us. There's a lot more there that you can watch, listen to, or read that will help you find work more quickly, help you hire better, help you with managing, helping you in the workplace in general. And I'll also say if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching from me, schedule a free discovery call at the site. I'd love to help you. Have a great day and take care.